What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week. All right, you guys asked me for a second part of the Apollo 11 video, which I had done uh, previously. And uh, so we have. We have made a part two for you. You can check out my new channel right here, Lunar Anomalies and Beyond, the sister channel to my Mars Anomalies and Beyond. And you're going to find all of the moon videos here. Now, once in a while, you may find something slightly different, but 99.9% .9 of the time is going to be nothing but moon for you guys. Now, don't forget to please subscribe to the channel as well as hit that little bell on the side so you get all the notifications of any moon videos coming up. You don't see anything right here right now. You can see us at videos. There's nothing there, but it will be when you guys go check out the channel. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell notification button, and uh, that's where you're going to find all the moon videos from now on. So anyway, guys, let's get back over to Mars here. This here, we're going back to Sol 301, and this is Curiosity Rover. And you can always tell that it says right here in the top, MSL. And sometimes, guys, when you see these photos, sometimes the most obvious is isn't really obvious. And I'm going to show you that right now. But what I do is I took three of these photos. This one here, the next one to the right of it, and you can see the outcropping of these rocks. And then the next one right to that, you can see that rock. So what I do is I, I stitch them together real quick, and you can see it right here. Now, I didn't line up the actual background here, the hills. I don't need to. These photos anyway were slightly zoomed in compared to the others, so it's hard to match them. What I wanted was right here in the midsection as well as in the foreground. So let's get started with that because I think you guys are going to like this. This is pretty cool. Now, again, sometimes the obvious stuff isn't so obvious. And again, they make everything look like it's all part of the ground when clearly it's not. At least 90% of it, I don't believe that it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this item right here. Might be multiple items. Like I said, you guys can also use your magnifiers. You're going to see some cool stuff. One thing I want to show you guys real quick, let's backtrack just a hair bit. Why is this ground completely whited out? Why? Because there's things to be seen that are being blocked. What they do is they highly expose everything. So this way everything's exposed so highly that you can't see any kind of detail. But you will. Like just this items alone right in there. Check, check this out. Okay. Now, let's have a look at these other items real quick here notice the way that thing's doing this here and it goes down what appears to be right there some kind of weird detail to this thing has a hole right there in the middle goes like this there's also it looks like a second part to that or whatever that may be right there but again you got this weird hole type thing you got this piece like this here check this out now also these little pieces right here notice how this this goes like this here you don't see the rest of that but it goes up like this goes like that and whatever the hell these things are on the on the front of that okay now let's check out this lighted area real quick and it's hard to break through it but i'm going to show you guys something that's pretty interesting check this out right here right looks like these weird looking pieces there's as far as i'm concerned guys this is all machine parts i'm going to show you exactly what i mean check this out i'm just going to zoom out just a little bit you can use your magnifiers if you like i mean just the things we're seeing here now this stuff could be all buried in the ground right now check out the way the area does this it goes like this comes down like this has this area it happens to be three slotted areas right there now you may say well that's nothing man that's i don't see anything really of any value keep looking notice how there's squares in here different pieces yeah there's a lot more in this in this photo guys than really does meet the eye look at this piece right here okay two pieces like this straight lines You've got this right here. Well, I'm not even sure what to make of that. Looks like it's completely rounded in here. See that? This has some kind of pieces doing this and then down. It looks like a thick piece, too, to boot. Look at this. And again, this nice, perfectly round piece. Let me just back up just a little bit. Guys, just have a look at some of the stuff that's in this photo. It's crazy the amount of stuff that's in here. Look at this. What is all this right here? What is that? See this right here? I'm just going to narrow down the circle a little bit. Check that out. 
Look at the way this thing does this. It goes up and above. See that? What is that? I mean, I'm going to back out a little bit because it becomes too blurry. Now, let me show you the stuff that stuck out originally for me. And if you want to call it sticking out because it's actually still kind of hidden. It's almost like whatever the heck was on this ground is literally just showing the top parts of it, right? Let me show you what I mean. Here's a perfect example. What's these items right here? Now, again, I noticed lines big time. Check this out. We've got what looks like a slotted area or some kind of squared off area in here. Rectangular at the end. What is this object, a hole right here, with this thing sticking straight out? Do you see that? Right there. Appears to be sticking right out of the ground. See that? Right there. I'm going to just go right in for you guys. What is that? Completely straight, coming straight out of the ground. Okay. Notice these right here. Right next to this one on this side. And you can see this straight line going like this. Now what you want to do is you want to look really closely at what's really here. Check this line out right here. This is what looks like a half a hole right here. But look at the line. And then drops back down. You guys see that? It's there. It's right there. Now, I believe, like I said, I believe a lot of this stuff is actually buried. And we're seeing the top part of it. That's it. That's all we're seeing. Now, let's go ahead and enhance that. Okay, now you can see this a little bit better. I'm going to go back over to this side real quick. And look at the little objects that are on top now. They're there, guys. They're still there. Especially these right here. You've got what looks like this weird little U-shaped thing. You've got this small item right here. There's little details in here. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and go back and forth. And you can see them a lot better now. So in other words, I just made the, the lines darker. That's all I did. You can look at anything in this photo, and you'll see all of this is actually there. These lines are telling you down here in this hole. It's actually there. These items, I don't know what they are. I, I really couldn't tell you what they are. But to me, when you, when you have something that looks like that, that's just crazy. Look at this right here. It looks like there's some weird hole type thing with something sticking right out of it right there. See that? I'm just going to circle the whole piece itself, and this looks like some, something right there in front. Not sure what that is. Okay. You've got what looked like this outcropping, and that's only got that weird color because I tried to bring the color brightness up. But check this out. And this only looks weird because I've actually ripped the exposure. This is why you get that weird kind of look to it. But I did it because I wanted to show you this right here. This plate with things on top of. Let me just back up a little bit. See that? I don't know what that could be or what it is. I don't think these are rocks at all. I think they've been dressed up to look like rocks, right? Just look at some of the stuff in the background here, guys. Here's, here's a good example, too. When you look at this part right here, I'm going to go back to the original so you know that it is in fact there. This object right here, you can see it doing this. down look at this object right here almost looks completely rounded right here do you see this right here it's going like this appears to be some small white hole type thing but anyway goes like this down boom and it goes over to this side whatever these things are it's kind of like stuff has been thrown around and thrashed around and now what you're seeing is the actual rocks on top of this stuff you can see like different pieces on here It appears that it's mechanical, but it's encrusted into the rock. Let's bring this up a little bit more. Now have a look at that now. You see that? That's pretty cool. Like I said, we're seeing things here, guys, that is from an ancient civilization, or maybe not too long ago. We don't know, right? Check that out. Like I said, what does that in rock perfectly cut 
and it appears to be some kind of you can see it going around like that what? whatever that pot is i don't know but look at the difference what the hell is that sitting right there on the ground okay okay let's go over to here so it's right here And you can see what looks like kind of really vague, though. Some kind of mechanical pod. You can see something around right here coming down. Some black piece right on top. And look at the little mechanical features in this. See, the more I go into it, though, the worse it looks. So I'm going to try to back out. See that? Here's some more crazy stuff. When you look at this photo, I'm going to go over to here. Now you go, ah, I don't see nothing in here either. However, once you start burning into this area here and going through that, watch what happens. Notice this item right here. At first, I only seen this. And I was like, well, I'm really not seeing anything there. And all I do is just bring up the exposure, guys. Nothing special. But check this out. It looks like some kind of weird piping type thing sticking out of this. Right? has this huge shape kind of thing going on with something sticking up right here. And then this item still continues on. It doesn't look like it, but it does. And there's other pots back here. Now, let's enhance that. Check this out. And I didn't notice this either until I saw this pot. Look at this. It appears to be on some kind of platform. Whatever this thing is, not sure what to make of that. See it? You can still see this line here. And it looks like it goes down like this. You can see the other line. There you go. What are these other pots in the background? See that? Look at it with your magnifier. This thing is absolutely mechanical. Look at this thing. Especially the way this thing comes down like this. You see two or three things are like this coming down. And you see this thing's going in between these and going down. So there's something sticking right up. There's something right here. There's another feature. I don't know if you guys noticed. This item right here is in the middle of nowhere. Is it just a simple rock that just happens to be in a perfectly rounded out area? Look at this. Kind of looks like it has a flat top to it kind of thing. See that? Again, let me just back out just a little bit. Problem with these photos, guys, is that there's always some kind of Manipulation being done. Uh, this whole background is a complete crap. See this? Complete crap. You can find things in the background here. It's like a clone tool where they take the texture from the ground and put it up there. And they're just squaring off these items. Or they're actually in the photo. That's two possibilities. And I see small parts. I see all kinds of stuff laying around on the ground. And it's got to be something of some importance, guys, because here's the deal. Why make this thing so bright over here that it's it, that it's crazy? Look at this. And this three-slotted area right here, like I said. Right there. Bring it out just a little bit. And you can see these little tiny details all in the front here. Again, just have a look at it with your magnifier. You could just tell there's something there other than just the ground, meaning just dirt and gravel or rocks and stuff like that. Guys, this stuff in these photos, man, it's just, wow. This is the one you don't actually see an object sticking out, but they're all, they're, they're like all in the ground. It's kind of like whatever happened to this planet, meaning either a great flood, it just washed over everything, and or they manipulated so bad that all you see is the top parts of these things, or at least what's left of them, right? Yeah, I'm seeing little mechanical pots. I mean, I'm seeing it in a lot of rocks, uh, the dirt. Uh, no doubt that this stuff is definitely in the ground itself. In other words, there's plenty of rocks and gravel and everything else around. But what we're seeing is things that are just literally in the ground, intelligently made. That's just there, just laying there. Looks like there's something right there, some kind of something sticking right out of that thing. See that? Right there. Sometimes we expect to see photos with these things sticking out of the ground, and that's not always the case. 
How in fact, it appears like a lot of this stuff has been buried in the ground, and all we're seeing is dirt and rubble and everything else over the top, but yet you can still see features that look mechanical. Of course, you guys give me your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think. Please like and always share the videos. Always appreciate you guys know that. And by the way, got more mods coming up from this channel. And don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the Lunar Anomalies and Beyond channel that I've got now, uh, which you're going to see just basically all moon stuff. So I'm sure you guys will be loving that too. And like I said, don't forget to hit that notification bell so this way you'll be notified of any new videos that are coming up, especially this channel and the new channel. So you guys uh, stay tuned for some more good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.